It is bright and early. Got my man Guida and B Money. What's up? Just how we like it. We bright are headed to Lake Berryessa to go chase after some big old fat pigs, aka bass. <laughs> coming for them. They can't hide. Guida's got his kayak. You guys can see that. All loaded up in the truck. And then we have another buddy that's coming. He has mine and B Money's kayak. So it should be an awesome day. Let's go. Let's kill it. <laughs> There's one. What'd you make for us, B? Some elk sausage breakfast burritos. Oh yeah! So good. Let's do it. Alright, we're meeting up with Big Will. <laughs> He's got the minivan with the, the kayaks on top. I love it. <laughs> he knows Chad. Big Will's minivan and the caravan. We got the Hobie. Jackson, I'm so pumped. This is gonna be awesome. Leader getting his coffee. Oh yeah, he doesn't drink coffee. B Money's getting coffee. Let's go! I wanna fish. Finally made it. That was a long drive. We had a, about a half hour detour. Someone, old Big Will didn't take us the right way. But we're good, we made it. Let's get these things in the water. Are you ready, B? Yeah, let's catch some hogs. All right, let's go. Got everything set up. This setup is killer. Look at this thing. Got the fish finder. <laughs> Dude, you are set. You take this out in the ocean, huh? Yeah. See, that's so awesome. What's the biggest fish you've caught from it? Uh, 22 pounds. What was it? I caught a six foot, I caught, I caught a six foot thresher shark. Oh, nice. No. striped bass. Dude, that's fish awesome. Fish. Coming in hot. Me and B Money. These things Breakfast aren't. Place. <laughs> these things are not light. <sighs> I'm so excited to get out here. Hopefully we stick some pigs. Everyone's been saying the fish bite has been pretty damn good, so we'll see. Longer. How's that feel, Guida? That rudder feels great, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Old rudder gut, dude. <laughs> Who doesn't love rudder gut? Sun's out, gun's out. We need to get those pasty whites some color, dude. Hell yeah. I don't I'm know. You, tan, you got a mailman tan, though. Yeah, sure. I'll go in the water if you want to I got, 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 got my... <laughs> Alright boys, it's game on here. Alright, game time. It almost feels like it's cheating. <laughs> it's so awesome. Not right there, bro. You never know. Yeah, a lot of times they hang out by the launches, man. All right, so <laughs> 30 seconds in and B Money already dropped his pole in the water. <laughs> what happened, dude? Uh, the fish finder, or holder. How deep is it right there? Deep enough. Are you going swimming or do you think we can? Probably. You think we can get it with a pole? Let's wait. He's got his fish finder right there. I'm just gonna stay right here. Is there any goggles? Do goggles? No. Dude, it was in this thing right here and it just tipped over. Really? Yeah, it just, it just fell out. That's oh, kind of scary. Oh, man. We'll get it. Extra rod for you. <laughs> My dad made that rod, so I like it. Oh, <laughs> Look at Chad's going, no. You can't take me anywhere, Chad. <laughs> can't take you anywhere, dude. Oh, man. We'll get it. So while our boy Brian's in the water here, I got a pretty funny story of the first and I think only time or last time that I lost a rod. And it was right after Chad and I fought. It was in Milwaukee and uh, it was, a, I think, three days after the fight. 
I had some super, super gnarly back spasms, some pinched nerves, and I just gotten out of the hospital. And the first, all I could think about was wanting to get back on the water. <laughs> so <laughs> my old man's like, dude, you can't be sitting that low because he's had back issues his whole life, you know. He's like, you can't be sitting that low in the kayak. So what we do, he gets me one of those camping chairs, you know what I mean? The ones yeah. that pull together. Yep. And uh, these things are made for you to be sitting low. You know? <laughs> so I'm all decked out. I got my St. Croix rods. I got all my stuff. I think I'm hooked on, yeah, I think we're hooked on each other, man. Oh, uh, you still got a line in the water? Yeah, it's all oh, good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I got my camping chair. It's hot. It's August. It's like 95 <laughs> degrees, man. My back's hurting, but I'm catching fish, dude. And uh, I got my phone right in my, in the little uh, cup holder, you know, in the chair. And I got up to stand up, dude, and I fell. The whole oh. <laughs> I went over. The chair goes over all my new rods. No. But the whole you know, the kayak didn't flip over. Dude. And so right away, I came up. I stood up to the top, and I looked to find a marking spot of the tree. I look over. I see a tree, and I'm sitting there fishing around. Can't find it, man. Can't. My phone's gone. Three of my rods are oh. gone. Oh, yeah, two of my rods are gone. Um, my staking pole too, you know, like an anchor. Yeah. That thing's gone. I'm just like, oh man, this is brutal, dude. I just got my ass kicked in a fight four <laughs> days earlier. My back hurts, dude. I lost probably three, four, five hundred dollars. No. And now, <laughs> Damn it, dude. About, about a half hour goes by. I get back in the uh, in the kayak. I'm still kind of. I give one more try, dude. I go out there. I go out there and I'm fishing out on my feet. It's about five feet of water, you know. And uh, I finally, I find one, dude. First thing I find is the, I find my rod. Couldn't believe it. Next thing I find, dude, I find my cell phone, bro. In no. Murky ass water like this. I'm not even joking. I find my cell phone. I pick it up, dude. I fish out my feet. I pick it up. It's ringing, dude. My mom's calling. And we're what? talking a half an hour, dude. It was like the super saver cell phone. No way. So my mom's calling. I'm like, Mom, you're never going to guess what's going on. We're supposed to meet for lunch in a couple hours. She's like, what? I'm like, I, I'm like, I, I'm in the water right now. I just picked up my phone out of the water. It's been in there for 30 minutes at least. And she's dying laughing. Dude, that's so insane. I'm taking selfie pictures. It looks like I'm taking a bath in the lake, dude. I was joking. both rods. I my phone or something. And I was just like, ah, forget that stupid, uh, you know, mistake. I get back in the Hobie can't get back in my kayak. I take off and sure as shit, I find the snake too, man. <laughs> you got it all. I found all of it. Dude, dude. that is it awesome. So wild. The phone works, man. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> all right, we'll be money searched for a while. Probably 20 minutes. Can't find it. So we're going to go out and fish. We got some extra poles. Um, and then we're going to come back when... It gets a little hotter, maybe we'll all jump in. <laughs> this is just a little too cold right now. First little guy of the day. A little rubber worm, little green tip. Not bad. Well, they're not getting any bigger. <laughs> Just switched over to this uh, light green and uh, white worm. First cast. Got another one. Let's see if we can catch some big boys. Where you at? There you go. There's a little better one. There's a little pounder. Two quarters of a pound. I'll take it. Oh yeah, number four, and it's a smallmouth. It's a nice looking this thing just hammered this worm. What do you think, Beef? Not bad, huh? I wonder if we're in the lead. Uh, we're in the lead, hopefully. <laughs> That's cool. Beautiful looking fish. Let's get this thing back in the water. Look at this big old fat crappie. That could be the biggest crappie I've ever caught. I think it's a monster. <laughs> Brian said, you know what would be good? Let me see this little grass sticking out. Probably a crappie jig and I throw my worm in there and wham! This freaking monster grabs it. Dude, that thing is huge. What do you think this thing weighs? This thing's gotta be at least a pound. <laughs> yeah, this thing's a fatty. <laughs> yeah, baby, that's uh, number five. Be money in the back. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. All right, let me get this thing back in the water. This is insane. My, I was letting the other one go, and my pole was over the side of the boat, 
and wham! I felt the sucker come up and hit it. <laughs> this is another big old fatty. Look at the size of these crappie. Holy crap. Let's get this thing in here. All right, that's numero seven for this guy. Just uh, had this guy nail it right in front of me. I actually missed him once. There might be more in there, but see, I'm gonna throw this back in there and see if I can catch some more. Number seven, baby. Yeah, B Money's on the scoreboard. You need help? Nice, dude. Hold it up, let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me come over there. Oh yeah, B Money. Yeah, they're biting. Nice little small mouth. Fins and feathers, baby. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Let's get some more. Hell yeah. 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 Number two for B-Money. Oh, he's ripping line, dude. What is it, a crappie or a, a, ba a bass? Uh, it's a bass, I think. Nice. Bass. Good one? Yeah, nice one. Oh, nice, dude, another smallmouth. You gotta kiss it for good luck. <laughs> well, me and B got in the water. He was in there for probably half hour, 40 minutes, <laughs> looking for that damn fishing pole, and we could not find it. No go. No go. That's so crazy, we know it's right there and just could not find it. Those guys should be coming back in anytime, but we'll see. Yeah, I, Clay kept saying, one more hour, one more hour. We told him we're at the dock for Wayne's, get in here, so I don't know if he's gonna do it, but hopefully soon. All right, these guys just got in, and so we had a little contest going. Most fish and biggest fish. And uh, they ended up with eight fish. Uh, Clay and Will, me and Brian were on a team. We ended up with uh, nine. But Will ends up sticking this pig right right as he's coming back. Let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah, Will saved the day with the slob, man. 20, well, just under 20 inches. Probably five or six pound fish. So. <laughs> I think we're at a draw here because we got the most fish and they got the biggest fish. But Clay said he's going to take us to uh, the taco truck down the street and be, be a nice guy and buy it for us anyways. But man, what an awesome day out here. This was my first time fishing Lake Berryessa. Brian, you fished it quite a bit, huh? Yeah, I love this lake. Awesome, Clay, is that fish. your first time fishing it? First time, man. My, my cherries popped over at Berryessa. Oh yeah, and these kayaks are unbelievable. My first time using one of these. We've got the pedal. It's super comfortable. I mean. You can pretty much go anywhere. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. No Can't wait to come out here and do it again. Anytime, anytime. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys liked it. See you next time.